Hi, we're in the engine compartment of a 1968 Chevy Camaro. Kind of a really neat car. A lot of pizzazz under the uh, hood of this guy. Uh, it's got a four-pass aluminum radiator in it, uh, chrome strut braces on it. Uh, I got some billet pieces on the front of it. The correct GM numbered uh, radiator hoses, top and bottom. Uh, the correct uh, steel cooling lines going back to the uh, uh, tranny in this vehicle. It does have air conditioning. It does not have heat to the engine or the uh, passenger compartment, but it does have air conditioning with a big aluminum billet bracket also on it. New battery, brand new chrome alternator with the associated bracing and billet uh, mounting point for it. It has a dual plane aluminum intake manifold, a Holly vacuum carburetor, 14 inch uh, unsilenced air cleaner, chrome valve pan covers, has power steering and power disc brakes on it. Uh, dual stage master cylinder, new stainless steel brake lines and proportioning valve on the front. Uh, the uh, inner fender panels are really nice and clean, semi-flat black, just the way they should be. There are absolutely no leaks whatsoever evident on the uh, valve pan covers. Let me check this side. Or the intake manifold. Or the timing chain cover for that matter. Everything looks to be just as tight and clean and leak free as can be, at least at this point. <laughs> Um, does have a set of ceramic coated long tube headers on it, appear to be about inch and three quarter diameter. Nice engine compartment. Uh, this motor would be uh, a 350 with these amenities to it, uh, probably making somewhere in a 350 horsepower range. Uh, it has a real nice sound to it, nice exhaust system, nice free flowing exhaust system, and steering and brakes, like I stated. So you got a really great. Great engine compartment, nice and clean. The uh, radiator core support uh, is original and doesn't ever appear to have been bent or distorted in any way. The condenser for the air conditioner is the same way, it's totally undisrupted. Really nice engine compartment. I'm trying to pick out every little thing I can see. Um, HEI distributor in it, uh, silicone uh, plug wires, orange colored. Really great, great engine compartment in this thing. In fact, it has a new uh, distributor cap and vacuum advance on it. I don't see anything at all out of place on this thing. It is really a nice car. I've driven it and it runs just the way it looks. Fantastic engine compartment. Let's do the rest of it. Hi, you're at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And today our guest on the floor is a 1968 Camaro. It's an SS style car with a lot of amenities, so we'll go over it and try to point out any little defects that we have um, and see what we end up with. Obviously it's black and it's definitely a nice paint job on this thing, you know, really great finish on it. It has the SS style uh, uh, grills on the uh, hood, real nice fitment of the hood, you can see that the uh, gap the whole way around this guy is about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more the entire perimeter of this hood, even where it goes up against the uh, cowl area. Nice fitment of the hood. Nothing there to even think about adjusting. Header panel, really nice. No elbow dents or anything in it. I don't see any warbles or, or dents or anything on the tops of the fenders or on the hood or on the header panel. Everything is nice and flat and, and sweet as can possibly be. Nice finish on this car. Really a great black paint job. Okay, the grill also is blacked out. SS designation in the front. It is an SS style car, not an SS car as it originated, but it's an SS style car at this point. Grill is nice. No cracks or chips or dents in it. Plastics that it would be no dents, but there's definitely no cracks even around the uh, headlight basils. Chrome on the bumper and bumper fitment. Bumper fitment is right on the money and uh, the chrome is just really, really nice. Front spoiler on it, no chips or marks or cracks in it whatsoever. Uh, the um, front valance on it, uh, that same deal, no marks, no pulls, no nothing. Nice fitment underneath the front bumper. Uh, again, the front end of this car, everything lines up just as it should. Can't ask for a better fitting bumper than this or a better finished bumper. It is literally right on the money. You could not fit that bumper any better. 
uh, than it is, or the hood. This is just a very precise fit. Whoever did this car spent a lot of time in, in lining things up on the front end. Let's go down the side seat. We can show you here. Okay, starting at the driver's side front. Uh, again, you can see the finish on this car. It's just absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. 350 designation, because that's what it is. Uh, fitment of the front fender to the front volants, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Blacked out trim around the uh, side marker lights, which fit very, very well. SS designation on the side, Camaro. Look at that. Front fender to the door, to the fender, to the uh, header panel. Really, really nice fitment. Uh, correct wiper arms and blades. How about that? Correct wiper arms and blades on this guy, just as it originated. The uh, dash area where it transitions to the base of the windshield, crystal clear, just like the day it was made. No dirt, no deterioration down along the base of the dashboard. You can see it right down through the windshield, which, by the way, is a tinted windshield with the sun shade fade uh, on top. The, um, Dash pad, looking straight down through the window, there's no deviations in it, no cracks, no marks, no fading whatsoever. It looks absolutely brand new. Trim around the front window. Flawless. There's no marks, no, absolutely nothing on it. Uh, correct style GM mirror. No stainless drip rail. Um, they elected to keep this thing more of a stealth look and, and just eliminate as much chrome as they possibly could. Of course, it would be tough to eliminate the trim around the front and back window. Whisker wipes, uh, just as nice as you'd ever want to find, front and back. Look at the window fitment here, from the front glass to the rear. Just really, really sweet. No leakage whatsoever. Door handle, about as new as you could ever hope to find one. Door to quarter panel, look at that. To the rocker panel, look at that. That is nice. Uh, no marks, no uh, dings whatsoever in the roof. Nothing's uh, been traumatized on it through the years. Roofs are pretty much always in good shape. Trim around the back, and this car is all tin too, by the way. Quarter panel, sail panel, nice. Uh, there's no uh, marks or deviations in it whatsoever. Trim around the back glass, which by the way, the side windows and the back window in this do have window tint in them, obviously. It's pretty dark. You can see out of it real easily. Seeing into it's a little bit more difficult, but you can see into the car. I can uh, look into the hatch shelf in the back, and the hatch shelf's absolutely brand spanking new. Has two aftermarket uh, speakers in it. Uh, looks like some high end speakers. Sony, I think it says on it. Side marker light in the back, the same way. Down the side of this car is about as straight as you will ever, ever, ever find a, a vehicle. The fitment of the door to the quarter panel, to the front fender, to the rocker panels, it is really spot on. Wild set of wheels on this thing. Check out the price on these. These are a set of Boyd Coddington uh, custom wheels on it. 18s in the front, 20s in the back. Fresh rubber on them, and it's got a very, very dramatic look because of these tires. Very nice offset to them. Of course, the Stealth semi-flat black or flat black insert, insets in the uh, uh, wheel give it a real dramatic look, real stealth look to this vehicle. It's really great down the sides on the front. Let's see if we can find something on the back. Okay, back end of our little 68 uh, Camaro. Deck lid. Same as the hood, eighth of an inch the whole way around. Absolute flawless fitment. Paint on the back the same as it was on the hood. There's actually no deviations whatsoever. The paint finish is absolutely gorgeous on this vehicle. Really, really looks good. It's going to have a lot of fingerprints on it when I'm done with it, but uh, I guess a coat of wax will take care of that. Spoiler on the back to match the spoiler on the front. SS designation on the uh, gas cap just the way it should be. Uh, they've blacked out this area around the uh, tail light assemblies, your uh, backup lights and your tail lights, which are really, really nice. 
Both sides the same way. Bumper, same as the front. Boy, somebody spent a lot of time fitting these bumpers just right. They could not fit any better than they do. They are absolutely spot on fitment wise both vertically and horizontally. They're just absolutely as nice as you'd ever find. And there's no scuffs or marks on the chrome. Nice fresh looking chrome on it. Uh, no scrapes or dinghies or marks of any kind on it. Rear valance, no pulls on it. Real nice finish, uh, no dents whatsoever. You can see the dual exhaust sneaking out right in front of the uh, rear valance. Nice back end on this car. I can't imagine one fitting any better than this. This is as nice as it gets for fitment. It's just absolutely spot on. One more side. Okay, passenger side, our last side. See how we do on this one. Same deal. Tin. Side marker light in the rear, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Um, paint on the quarter panel, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. You know what? I miss this looking at it this way, but when I look at it this way, Right here, there's a little tiny bit of a knuckle dent. We've got to get our dent guy to give it a little tiny tweak, and it shows up on a black whenever you're at this angle. From here, it's not there, but from this point it is. So there's one thing we do have to address. We are going to take this little dinghy out of here for you. It's not going to require paint work. It's going to take our dent guy just a little tiny tweak, and it'll be gone. You can hardly notice it, but in the right light, you'll see it. So we'll fix it. Trim around the back light. Again, flawless. There's not one little tiny deviation in this uh, trim so far. We got one more little side to go here, but we'll see. Quarter panel, again, the whiskers, wipes, as nice as you'd ever want to find. Sail panel, same as the other side. Everything is silk smooth on this guy. Window fitment, same as the other side, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Let's try this. You're kidding me. Look at this. Unbelievable. That's nice fit, but we got one more place to check it. That's it. Door handle, nice chrome on it. Door matches the rocker panel just flawlessly. Same here. Just absolutely beautiful. Passenger side mirror on this, so we got dual mirrors on it. You know, a great addition to have on these cars. Tough to drive without them. They didn't come with them. They did as an option, but very few people ordered them. Our last piece of window trim, right on the money. Could not possibly be any better. SS Camaro designation. Again, our Boyd wheels. 350 on the front. And we're back where we started again. This is a fantastic car. The fitment could not be any better than it is on this car. It, it, this is as good as it gets on any of these uh, uh, 60s and early 70s cars. It does not get any better than this car is at this point. Great combination. You got a black car, black interior, black centered wheels. Everything's blacked out on it. It gives it a real stealth look to it, a real aggressive masculine look to it. Um, the wheels just add to the charisma of it. They're just huge. They do not rub, but they are absolutely huge. Got disc brakes in the front. I can't think of a better looking Camaro. If you're into black, you've got to be dedicated with black, though. Because at this point, there's a lot of little fingerprints from your little buddy here going over this car. Uh, we try to point out every little defect that we find. And you just see, I just found one after the fact. I didn't see it from the back, but I did see it whenever uh, I was on the side there. So we have to get that little tweak out, and it'll be ready to go. We try to present these cars to you as correctly as we possibly can. I try to pick out every little defect that I see. Again, these are not new Porsches or 488 Ferraris. They are not going to be that precise uh, fitment and finish. Uh, it's a car that was built 50 years ago. This is as good as it got at that point. And it's actually better at this point than it was in 1968. This car never had this fitment or finish. They didn't have these paints back in 68. Uh, you would have got a um, mediocre lacquer paint job that was probably Thin along the bottom, you can see primer through in 1968. This car has an exemplary paint job to it. But again, we try to show you everything that there is in these cars. We encourage every customer to jump on a bird or get in her car, come down, 
take a look at the car. I'll present it to you in person. We have a rack. We'll put it up. You can see the car underneath. If you want to take it to a shop and have them check uh, mechanicals on it, you're certainly welcome. We have a couple shops within two or three miles of here that two or three shops you can use. Um, again, you know, we encourage everybody to come down and look at these cars in person. But if you can't, that's why we do these videos. We understand that, you know, if you're in Oregon or California or in Maine and you have a business, you can't come and look at them. That's why we try to do as comprehensive an analysis as we possibly can on these vehicles to show you the imperfections or any irregularities that, that crop up that I can see. Mechanically, we try to make them as perfect as possible. Uh, all the lights are checked whenever these cars, uh, are, we do a pre-delivery inspection, and Don goes over everything to make sure that all the lights work for you, that the, uh, the car runs as it should, all the fluids are up to snuff, the oil and filters are freshly changed in it, uh, the brake fluid's clean. We make a, every attempt to make this car as good as it possibly can be for a 50-year-old car. Uh, it's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. It's one of the many uh, Camaros that we have, uh, one of 80 cars that we have on the uh, premises. So uh, jump on a bird, come down, take a look at this one. You might buy one or two of them. Okay, we're in the interior of our 68 Camaro, our little stealth black guy here. Uh, really looks good. Again, the uh, dashboard padding is real, real nice on it. No uh, cracks or, or deviations in it whatsoever. The dash itself is really nice and clean and clear. The gauges are absolutely as they were when they were new. It does have an auxiliary uh, temperature gauge down here. Um, aftermarket GM radio, it, it has a Chevy designation on it, but it, uh, it, it is a, a, not the original radio in the car. Staple shifter, just the way it should be. Air conditioning ducts coming out here, and they have the, uh, uh, the ducts on the sides also. Uh, check this out. Tilt steering wheel. Custom wheel, leather wrap, uh, billet uh, polished aluminum center, horn that works, tight as a drum headliner, absolutely brand new head um, sun visors on it. The interior in this car is new from beginning to end. Uh, back seat is all new, new upholstery, same as the front, uh, nice padding in it, there's no uh, sag whatsoever to the seats, brand new door panels on the front, molded armrests on the front of them, uh, window cranks, door actuators, all brand new chrome, same thing in the back, just as nice and clean as can possibly be. Again, the hat rack is absolutely brand new, two aftermarket speakers to coincide with the uh, upgraded radio that's in it. Really nice original equipment console with the uh, glove box in the center and the glove box in the dashboard. Looped uh, black carpeting in it just the way it should be from uh, the factory in 1968. There are no seat belts in the back and there are none in the front so we're going to at least have to put seat belts in the front of this guy. But there are no seat belts in it at this point but it will have seat belts in the front whenever we sell the vehicle. Fantastic car inside. Everything is as it was when it was new. Uh, there's no wear whatsoever on the gas pedal, the brake pedal, or the parking brake pedal. The kick panels are just as nice as you'd ever want to hope to find. Uh, I don't see one thing in this vehicle that doesn't look as though it did in 1968 when the car was new. Really a great looking car, great looking interior. Uh, we're going to go for a ride and go to the undercarriage yet, but uh, so far we haven't found anything other than what do we find? One little tiny mark on the uh, trunk where we have to do a tweak on it. And that's it. That's all we found so far. So, um, fantastic car. It's here at Hangsters. Take a look at it. What do we got here? Uh, we got tilt steering wheel. That works. We have a horn. It definitely works. We have, those are lights. Let's see. These are lights. Wipers that definitely function as they should. We have a left turn signal functioning. We have a right turn signal functioning. We have a gas gauge just telling us we've got a half a tank of fuel. The speedometer is going to be working shortly. Uh, nice car.
see the speedometer is working as it should. Car tracks well, no hands on the wheel here. I'll show you. We're going down the road straight. Let's try brakes, no hands. Stops just as nice as could possibly be, no hands on the wheel. He's not real happy with me, but brakes definitely stop. Right in there. Nice tight running car. You can hear there's no rattles or shakes or shimmies or anything in it whatsoever. It's a nice running car. Um, nice positive steering. Whenever they change that steering box, they must have put a high resolution one in it because it definitely, uh, definitely responsive. Nice running car. Air conditioning. Can I try air conditioning? Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely blowing icicles. Nice. So we got everything working. The leather wrap steering wheel. Looks like real leather too. Running car, shifts nice, drives nice. It's a nice Camaro. Well, we're underneath our uh, '68 Stealth SS style Camaro, all black. Uh, Nice car underneath. New uh, calipers in the front, new rotors in the front, new backing plates, new shocks, uh, small tube, lo uh, long tube uh, but small diameter tube headers, about an inch and a half uh, header on this guy. Um, 350 Chevy, that gives it lots of low end torque, mid range power. Does a real good job of it. High torque starter, gear reduction starter on it. You can see a uh, a chrome oil pan on it. Uh, the motor's been out and completely freshened up. And no evident oil leaks anywhere on the bell housing or on the engine uh, or the transmission. You can see it is a, uh, uh, a turbo uh, tranny in it. The uh, subframes are absolutely as new as could possibly be. It's hard to believe this car even... It, it looks just like the day it was... It, it left the factory, really. I mean, the frame, the subframes, the uh, floor pans, the pinch wells are still evident from where the uh, floor pans attach to the rocker panels. Uh, everything is just the way it was when it was new. The uh, fenders themselves at the front, your inner fender liners come down. There's no jack marks or anything on them. A couple of real light jack marks through the ages here on the uh, subframes, which is just normal usage. The floor pans, again, I cannot express how nice the floors are on this vehicle. Uh, they appear to be the original floors, though. They don't appear to have been redone. Absolutely as new as can possibly be. Three-inch collector uh, going into a, uh, I'm going to call them two-inch. They might be two and an eighth, but I'm going to call them two-inch uh, primary tubes coming off of it, going back into two Flowmaster mufflers, the original fuel line, uh, still intact and, and just as nice and clean as can possibly be. Brake line toward the rear has been replaced. It appears to have been replaced. Um, parking brake assembly is not hooked up. The uh, cable is here for it. We're going to have to put an intermediate cable here because I see two parking brake cables coming out of the rear brakes, but the cable that's actuated by this guy is not there. So we have to put a uh, parking brake cable, get them operational on this vehicle for you. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, tranny, no leaks whatsoever anywhere. Absolutely none. Not even on the. Uh, uh, speedometer drive, which is really unusual. Really great looking car so far. Oh, new steering box also. New steering box and a pitman arm and the idler arm also. All new. Fantastic uh, front end underneath this vehicle so far. Now let's go through the other half of it and see what we can show you because everything underneath the uh, front end of this car is absolutely spot on.
Okay, again, the floorboards on this car are just totally undisrupted. And you know what? I said the fuel line isn't original. I think it is. I think this is the original fuel line that was uh, released with this car when it was new. First, I didn't think it was, but now I'm going to call it an original fuel line. And it does not need replaced. It's just totally rust-free, deterioration-free. Torque boxes in the front here where your front spring uh, hangers are are just as nice and clean as can possibly be. Again, here's our cable coming out of the... Uh, uh, brakes in the back and another one here we have to put that intermediate cable in here so that they actuate the rear uh, uh, brakes parking brake assembly will hold for you that's one thing we have to do subframes in the back are totally indisrupted there's just absolutely no marks whatsoever no jack marks no nothing I mean it's just amazing how clean this car is underneath the uh, mufflers are a turbo style muffler Flowmaster I don't know the actual manufacturer of these particular ones, but uh, they are a uh, they are a high-end muffler. I do know that. Uh, the uh, hangers in the back are all nice and fresh. Two-inch pipes transitioning out of the uh, Flowmaster style mufflers. A monoleaf uh, rear suspension in this particular vehicle it does have a staggered shock uh, system on it, though. One in the front, one in the back, and the shocks are new themselves. They are new. Uh, the floors in the back trunk floor and where it transitions up over the rear differential just a nice and clean as the rest of it was um, 10 volt Chevy rear would be an eight and a half I'm going to guess uh, rear differential uh, which is a good heavy duty uh, system that came on these cars the drop downs in the corners are just as nice I, I can't believe this car had any uh, panels put on it really I mean I can't see any because everything all the pinch walls are still evident uh, this car looks like it's just totally undisrupted. Uh, the original tile gas tank, uh, the original bands holding it in place. This is a nice car. This thing's very, very nice. It's got some huge wheels and tires on it. Uh, they barely fit, but they do. They're not rubbing anywhere, not that I can see anyway. Uh, the uh, rear pan on this vehicle is not pulled or twisted in any way. The drive shaft has new U-joints on it. The entire undercarriage of this car is as new as you'd ever want to hope to find one. Uh, you can see, again, no engine leaks whatsoever, transmission. There's no oil leaking anywhere on it. Hands themselves. Oh, here's something like this. Somebody must have put a jack stand here at one point in time and taped this pan up just a little bit. Uh, it's not hurting anything structurally. A tap with a hammer will knock it back into place, but there is a mark right here on the floor pan where you can see someone has either jacked it up and put a stand there or possibly driven up onto something. Again, we're 50-year-old cars, you know. It's hard to find these things that are uh, uh, totally, absolutely as they left the factory. But this thing, as far as structurally uh, goes, this thing is as tight and nice and original a car underneath as I've seen for a long time. It's really a great car. It's available here at Hangsters. Devin's going to take a bunch of high-resolution photos for you to go over, especially for the undercarriage, so you can see everything that's there and uh, help you in your decision on buying a car here at Hangsters.